I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create bulk teacher appreciation cards for teacher appreciation week. You're going to need a few tools. You're going to need Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Canva. We're going to take and gather the information from Google Forms, throw it into Google Sheets. We'll export that and import it into Canva and to create something that looks like this. And it's pretty easy to do once you have all the information. So let's jump right in and I'm going to make this a little bit easier for you to see what's happening on the screen. So we'll go from there. So linked below, there'll be a copy of this teacher appreciation form. You can send this out however you want. The beautiful thing about this is you can share it to your parents, your students, your staff. Everybody can kind of write in this. What you want to do is you want to gather specific information because when you're pulling data from your CSV file on the back end, you want to make sure that you have the student's name, the teacher's name, and the bulk or the thank you message that the students or adults are writing to the teachers. Once all of this is done, you'll collect that into Canva. You can then print these out and decorate them, bundle them up, tie them in a bow. You can put them in a key ring, however you want to do it on the back end. But let's go through why this is important. So this is a form that I've already created for the school I'm working at. And this is what we sent out to students and parents today. We've got a bunch of responses. So the first thing is you'll want to have an explanation of what this is for. Why are you asking parents and students to fill out this form? You can just tell your stakeholders, this is to let our teachers know how much we appreciate them. So once we have that, I like to gather emails. And the reason I like to gather emails is because I work in middle school and sometimes kids put in information that's not necessarily appropriate, right? And so it helps me go back and find the students that did that or to discourage them from putting that in the first place because their email is attached to it. Some students still do it, but just so you have that information later if you decide what you wanna do with that. So then I have actually some video instructions. Um, this is just an added bonus. You can take this video out. It's pretty self-explanatory, but every once in a while we get questions. So I just uploaded a quick YouTube video and just told parents and students what we're looking for, how to do it. Then what I did is I listed all of our adults, last name first, and then first name. And the reason I want it alphabetized is because when I'm gathering all this information to import into Canva later to make the cards, I want all of the same teachers right next to each other. And we can do a sort when we get into the CSV. I will walk you through that. So once you've added all of your teachers, just to be clear, I know it's teacher appreciation week. At my school, as the principal, I celebrate everybody, whether you're a counselor, psychologist, custodian, secretary, everybody gets celebrated during Teacher Appreciation Week. I don't love the idea of splitting things out, uh, especially when we're a small school. So everybody gets celebrated with these cards. So we put all of our teachers' names here, right? And then at the very, very bottom, we put leave a note of appreciation. So when I'm creating my Google form, or if you wanna just copy this one, right? I'll remove the teacher's names and you can add your own teacher's names. But this is a long answer text. There are moments that we have as educators where we know that we've changed students' lives or that we don't know, and students wanna share that with us or parents wanna share that with us. The beautiful thing, right, about being an administrator on the back end of this is seeing all of the kind things that our community is saying about our teachers. It's fantastic. And then at the end, it's optional to put in a name. Some students want to remain anonymous. Other students want to have their name attached to that. I respect that. Every once in a while, a teacher will say, hey, I, this, this student left me a really, really nice comment. I want to send them a thank you note. Who is it? I will keep the CSV because remember, we're collecting email addresses. I'll go back, I'll find it and say, hey, this is the student. If the student leaves their name, the beautiful part about this is if we go back to the Canva card, if we look at our end goal here, we can actually put the name and just have that field be the student's name when we import this. So you can see here, we've got John Smith and then the email. This is just a test run that I ran before this. So... Once we have the form and it's completely um, filled out, we're going to open the CSV. Now we're gonna pull some responses. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna chop and edit this kind of. So when the uh, names come in, you're gonna have everything. You'll have all the teacher's names, you'll have all the student names, you'll have all the email addresses, and it's gonna be completely out of order. 
And when I talked earlier about sorting the information, you want to make sure that you sort it at the very, very last minute, right? So if teacher appreciation is on uh, Monday, May 1st, and you want to have these done the week before, which is in two weeks from the, the time of this recording, then you would want to have everything ended maybe that Sunday night before. That'll give you time to print them and bind them or wrap them or um, cut them or whatever you're going to do with the end product. That doesn't matter to me. But you want to give yourself enough time to work through them. And as you can tell, there's going to be a lot. If you work in a high school, there could be a couple thousand responses. This is where you'd want to get your PTSA involved and have them help out or your parent teacher association, whatever you call it. So when I click on responses, again, I'm going to cut this out. But when I click on responses, I'm going to get a lot of different information. I'm going to have all the people that have responded to this, right? I actually ask teachers to share notes about other teachers. And so um, when I come back here, let me just get this so um, I can make sure that I show all of it. So we're going to open that data in Sheets. I just want to make sure I hide the emails here. Okay. So um, now that I've got that hidden... So we'll jump back to this view. I have this sheet. So I have 181 lines that are empty. And you'll see here the way that I have this organized. I have email addresses. I have pick an adult to thank, leave a note of appreciation and optional name. I really am not going to use the timestamp, the email address, or um, the uh, these two in the beginning. I'm just going to use those three columns. So once I'm done with everything on that list, I copy this these three columns, so C, D, and E. And again, this is the teacher's name, the student's name, if it's there, and the note of appreciation, right? I copy those three things and I put them in a separate sheet. I'm going to do that now. If I can pause the recording. Okay. I'll cut that out. Once I have the form completed and I feel like it's ready to go out to the community and out to the stakeholders, I want to send this to them. So when I come up here, I click on send. There's a couple different ways that we can send this. Now, um, I like to do it where internally, I am sending an invite directly to all of the students in the school from our intercommunication, which is Gmail, right? I then send the link out to parents in our weekly newsletter or uh, information there. I don't send it all in the same one because I wanna track which students are responding to the form so then I can re-invite them after the fact. If you do that in Google Forms right here, it's beautiful. So when I click on the two, I just copy and paste all the emails from the student body and I put it in there and it sends it directly to them. And the beautiful part about this is you can include this in a form. If I want to send this via link, we click on link here and I like to shorten this. And I can send this out in a newsletter or an email to all the parents or, you know, Skylar Blast or however you do. You can also embed this on your uh, website. And when you embed this on the website, anybody that goes to website, you could put it at the top in a banner and they could fill all that information out. So once I've sent this, I'm going to open this up in a new window and I'm actually going to fill out the form just to show you how easy it is. So I come here, it's collected my email address. Uh, I'm going to put that in again choose a teacher, we'll go here. And I'm just gonna type some stuff for this is the example. And I'll put my name down here. The minute that somebody fills out this form, it sends it over to the spreadsheet. So you'll see here that I'm now on the spreadsheet that we were using earlier. Um, and along with the other 181, but I just wanna copy these three columns. So when I copy those three columns, just open a new tab and sheets.new. It'll open up a new sheet and I'm gonna paste that there. Whoops. And the whole thing just went in. Not what I meant to do, but let's just go here. So we're just gonna copy this one column. If I were copying this and showing you, I don't want you to see everybody else's email. I'm just gonna paste that in here. And you'll notice here that I don't have a header. 
So I need to add a header. Teacher name, message, student name. Important that you know what these are and that you're organized with this um, because the information that you import to Canva will be there. So now that I've got this spreadsheet here and I'm just gonna call it teacher appreciation spreadsheet. And let's see. Let's share this. And I'm gonna, now that I have it named, I'm gonna download this as a CSV. So you can see right here, it's this option as a CSV. So when I download this as a CSV, it's gonna go straight to my desktop. I'm gonna open that up and you'll see that I have it in a CSV. It's actually opened up in a Apple file that I have over here, which we'll import. So now we have that. So let's jump over to the Canvas side and play around with that for a little bit. And then I'll show you how we can import these in. So when I jump over to Canva, um, I'm gonna to go to home and we're on a blank page here. So I am going to click on cards and let's just hit enter. It's gonna pull up a bunch of different types of cards. Now you can customize any of these that you want. So the one that I actually used, um, something like this. Uh, let's do this one. So we're just gonna grab a random template here and you can see here that we've got the colors and the images. This actually matches our school colors. Um, but I want to, I wanna edit some stuff on here. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna add our logo. Um, let's see if I have our logo somewhere. Somewhere I do, under the pictures, there we go. So we're gonna grab our logo here and we're gonna shrink this guy down, bring it in and we'll go like that. We don't wanna mess up the text. Thank you. And we're gonna add two sets of text and we're gonna end up with three sets of text. So this will be the teacher's name this will just be the thank you. Here will be the, <clears throat> the prompt, right? Or the message that the students wrote that's going to fill in here. And then here we'll put the student's name. So I'm gonna put from here and I'm gonna put to here. And then over here on design, if you don't have it already, you need to search bulk create. Bulk create will pop up and you can see that I have it installed right down here. We go to bulk create. There's a couple things that you can do. You can actually install this and you can do this on your own. I, I would not suggest that. I suggest taking it from the CSV. It makes things a lot easier. But to show you what it looks like manually, because it'll help make sense when you're uploading the CSV, when I hit enter, they have a pre-formatted document that you can use if you wanted to add data you could actually just copy and paste the data here that i've already created i don't love copying and pasting it i like to have my own sheet so i can look at it later just so i can see if i ever need it again right you can add that right here so you can see that the name is going to be john smith jane jones the email is going to be here and here well the email we don't actually want an email we just want the teacher's name so let me grab our csv we'll upload a csv and let's see. What did we name that one? Teacher appreciation. So click on open. And you'll see here that Canva recognizes over here on the left, the three columns that we have. We have teacher name, message, and student name. So over here on the data, I'm actually going to, I don't want the two part of it. So I'm gonna add it right next to it in the same. And then when I left click or right click, it's going to say connect data. So when I hover over connect data, I want to click on teacher name. And we wanna make sure that this aligns. So we're gonna take teacher name right to the end right there. And if I need to move all of this, so we'll take the two 
I'm designing live here. So there's the two, there's the teacher name, right? Like that. And the thank you is going to stay by itself for your purchase. We're going to right click again. We are going to connect the data and this is going to be the actual body of the message. So we're going to click on message, right? It'll be in that font, in that size. And once we bulk upload all of these, you're going to have to go back because some students write a full paragraph. So you might have to go back individually and you might have to go back individually and change the font size to shrink that up for uh, teachers to be able to read or so it fits all on one card. So there's the message. And then our from, we're going to do the same thing. Let's take this over here. Try and align this to our two. We're going to copy this. And line it right up here. And the second from field is the one that we want to connect data to and student name. And I'm going to open this up a little bit like that. Once we have those, the magic happens right here when we click on continue. Now, remember, if we were doing this with 181, this would take us hours, right? We're doing it with just one, but the same format, the same process, all 181 will be created right now if we did that. So when we click on continue, you'll see it'll make a, here's the information here, generate one card, it opens up a new canvas. You'll see here that I now have a two, Nicole Lewis, a thank you, a random text that we wrote from Spencer. Now, I would that's me, right? I would go back and I would get the spacing so it's a little bit right. And maybe you don't need the to, maybe you don't need the from. Uh, you could just take the from out. And if the students leave their first name and last name, you could put that there. So there's other data that you could grab. Then if I wanted to export these, right? This is where you basically can print this. So we click on share and we want to download this. Now, depending on your school and how you want to do it, we are going to use a little bit more of a nicer uh, card stock. We're going to uh, put four to a page, cut them like that. We're going to bundle them all together, tie a little bow around them, uh, cut the corners, put a ring through them so that the teachers can have those all together uh, as they go throughout their career at the rest of the year, put them in their memory box, whatever they're going to do. If you have questions about this or you need access to any of these documents, please email me. If you're here, it's most likely because you work in education. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.